Welcome back to Crash Course. Uh, this evening we're going to give you a quick look at a steering problem as Zetter 3511. Uh, I just have a post a video on this because it's a bit of an awkward job if you haven't done it before. As you can see the steering column goes down here and goes into this recirculating ball steering. You can actually take that out in one piece by sliding it out through this hole, which I found out the hard way. Uh, what had happened was the balls had all got worn inside, they should be about 7mm and they were down as far as 5 so the steering was inclined to lock. Um, so when you take it out it looks like this, this is the new one. So there's balls are recirculating inside here. So when you twist the column, this moves up and down and moves these up and down, which then twists the tie rods and the track lines. Problems I ran into, uh, getting this shaft out is quite awkward. Then when I got the replacement, these were ever so slightly narrower than these blocks which go into them. So we had to get, give those a light skim of a cleaning disc, just so they'd slide in. They were actually jamming and some of them wouldn't win at all. I would recommend that you make sure that the sliders fit, fit in each one, even on both sides because you don't know what, which one is going to be where when you're reassembling. It's just easier to make sure they all slide nice and smoothly through there. This shaft then goes down this tube and there's a bearing here on the top and a bearing here on the bottom. And these shafts, as you can imagine, come out through this housing out to your tie rods. This shaft assembly is not very expensive and uh, I also replaced the top and bottom bearings. So I'll show you it again when it's uh, nearly fitted to give you an idea of how it's involved. Thank you from Crash Course.